What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, check out the team that we have in front of ourselves today. Today, we are rocking out with a Choice Specs Kyogre team that also features Ice Rider Calyrex and Choice Band Draco Sword. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. It really goes a long way. So I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. But let's get started here with today's team preview for this team right here. Starting off in that top left corner like we normally do with this support in DD. We got the Psychic Surge alongside with the Psychic Seeds as its item and ability. And we got the fairly normal support moveset with Expanded Force, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. Really great Pokemon, really good on the support side. Right next to him is going to be our first restricted mod, and that is going to be Ice Rider Calyrex. This Pokemon is super, super strong, and every time it gets KO, it gets even stronger due to its as one ability. We got the Babiri Berry as his item, so it can eat up a Steel Shot, and then we got Protect, Seed Bomb, Glacial Lance, and High Horsepower for the moveset. Middle left is our second restricted mod, and that is the one and only Kyogre over here. We got Drizzle, alongside with the Choice Specs as his item and ability, Water Spout, Ice Beam, Origin Pulse, and Thunder. You guys already know Kyogre in the rain does a massive amount of damage, so put him in the rain and now add choice specs damage on top. That is what we're going to be bringing you guys today. Hopefully we can just get some sweeps, get some big damage going with that Pokemon, and showcase him to his fullest potential. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is right next to Kyogre. It is going to be Draco Soul over here with the choice band and the hustle ability. If you guys do not know what the hustle ability does, because I know it's not really seen on the ladder too much anymore, it will lower all of your moves accuracy, but boost their attack at the same time. So if we Dynamax this Pokemon, we're hitting, we're guaranteed hitting anyway, so attack boost is just going to be on top of that. So Dynamax's Pokemon is going to be really good and makes them hit so much harder. We got the Choice Band just in case we don't Dynamax, and then the moves that we're rocking with is Bolt Beak, High Horsepower, Breaking Swipe, and Aerial Ace. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is our Speed Control and Support Mon. It is going to be Whimscott over here with the Prankster and the Focus Sash as item and ability. We got Moonblast, Taunt, Helping Hand, and Tailwind for a fairly normal moveset for any Whimscott. Final Pokemon on the squad is Cinderace, and Cinderace is just phenomenal in most situations. It's got the Liberia so it can change its typing, then it has the Life Orb as its item. We got Pyro Ball, High Jump Kick, Bounce, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority and for this guy's moveset. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? I don't even have to say it. The rental code is right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Hustle Choice Band Draco Zolt team. Let's get rocking here in battle number one, going up against a really cool team. He's got himself a Hatterene and Indeedee Trick Room team that also features uh, Corsola, or, or the second stage of Corsola, Galarian Corsola, and then he has Ice Rider, Calyrex, Zacian, and Grimstone. I'm kind of scared of this squad. Not gonna lie, the team is looking a little scary. I am gonna lead the, uh, the Whimsicott. Actually, mm, do I lead the Whimsicott? Do I lead the Whimsicott for a taunt in case he wants to go into the Trick Room? We could definitely do that. But I'm leaning more towards maybe like a Pokemon like my Kyogre, just a double hitting move here. I do like that. We're gonna go there and we're gonna go Whimsicott here as well. I'm digging them too. Draco's ult, and then last but not least, we gotta go Calyrex, right? We gotta go Calyrex. We definitely gotta go Calyrex. Let's sink speed. 112, so it's on the faster side. But still, I dig this Calyrex. I definitely dig it. We lock it in, lock it down. Yeah, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves some win here in battle number one. But you guys already know the deal. Before we even start our first battle, you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below. For question of the day, what fossil Pokemon is your favorite? Out of all the Pokemon games, every single one, there's a few fossil Pokemon in each game. Which one is your favorite? For me, personally, I really like Armaldo from Gen 3. I don't know why. Always liked him. Always liked a good old Armaldo. Just such a cool Pokemon. Just a really, really cool Pokemon. But he's going to end up going into Calyrex alongside with Ndidi. And I'm cool with that because, you know, Choice Spec, Water Spout, looking mighty fine right now. It's looking mighty fine. It's looking real fine. It's looking real fine. This is going to come out here alongside with the Psychic Surge. And uh, do I Tailwind? I don't even think I Tailwind here. I don't think I even Tailwind. I just don't think there's a point here. I could help in hand this shot. Which I think we're going to do. I think I'm just going to help in hand. Let me see. Let me see Kyrie speed, dude. What's your speed, buddy? No, I do not want to swap you. I'm going to go into check summary. Okay, so speed's pretty high. It's definitely outspeeds both of these guys. So I think we just go straight into a helping hand here. Right, water spout? Choice spec in the rain stab with helping hand. Come on. This, this could be some big damage. This could be some big damage. Helping hand coming out here. Clap, 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 clap. Claps all around. This thing's going to go for a follow me. It's fine. That's fine. We're cool with that. We might take out both of you here. Water spout poke it. Uh, send it. 
Get him out of here. Indivia survives on Focus Ash, but Calyrex, get out my face. Get out my face, dude. This thing is going to do ridiculous damage. Ridiculous damage. I'm hoping Kyrie outspeeds the next Pokemon he throws out here. Because I'm just going to help a hand. I'm just going to water spout this whole match. I'll do this whole match. This might be the most broken thing I've ever seen. Two moves winning a whole match. And I know Indeedee don't outspeed me. I, if he throws out another Pokemon slower, it's Hatterene. Oh, yeah. Hatterene, you're dead. This It's over. It's over unless he Dynamax Hatterene here. It's over unless he Dynamax Hatterene. I still see us doing some huge damage. Water Spout. Helping hand again. Run it. Run it. He's got a Dynamax Hatterene or it's over. Or he just cancels battle. Look how easy it is. Look how easy it is. I swear. Sometimes this game is just too easy. One move turn. Made our opponent cancel. You gotta love it. If he didn't cancel, we were just running it with that helping hand water spell. He gave me no reason not to go into it. And I was taking full advantage of it. I was just like, yo, we're doing it. We're rocking out with this one and we're dominating. But we're hopping into our second battle. Going up against a really strong team. You guys already know this team. Been all over the rank ladder. I also showcased it for you guys. One of the best teams in the meta right now. He's got himself Zacian alongside with Groudon. Then he has Charizard, Storm Drain, Gastron, Whimsicott, and Incineroar. Okay, so we definitely have to watch out for Storm Drain. Gastro, but I think I'm just gonna lead Whimsicott here because Whimsicott could be really, really nice. Or I could go, go Zolt. I could go Zolt with Indeedee. Could be really good. Zolt and Indeedee. Hmm. Now we're gonna go Whimsicott. We can taunt. We can Tailwind. We can do a good bit. Do I lead Draco Zolt? Or do I lead Cinderace? Cinderace ain't too shabby. I kind of want to lead Draco Zolt. We see this thing speed. I know we have 28 seconds to pick. 139. If I get a Tailwind off. That could be gorgeous. I'm going to go there, there, and then, uh, I'm going to bring Cinderace and Calyrex. Actually, I'm going to bring Storm Drake Ash on. No, we're not going to bring, uh, Kyogre, just because he's choice spec. And if I choice spec into a water move, which I'm going to be very tempted to do, then he can just swap into Storm Drake Ash on and just pretty much win the match. So, you know, we're not even going to bring Kyogre. You guys just seen what he can do in battle number one. So, we're just going to say, hey, yo, he can sit in the back end here. Let's showcase the other part of the team. I definitely want to get some work done with this Draco Zone. Definitely want to get some work done with this Draco Zone. Because it's such a cool Pokemon. It definitely is. And I feel like it's very, very strong. It's very, very strong. And I believe it learns, like, Slush Rush as well. It's a great opponent. Right? I think it learns Slush Rush. Get him in the hail. Doubles its speed. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. But this one's the hustle one. We're trying to showcase him. He's gonna end up leading these two. Incineroar's gonna come out here alongside with Scott, which I'm, I'm cool with. I'm cool with that. And then from here, uh, do I choice ban to a move? A choice band to my bolt beak. My bolt beak. It's looking a little good here. Today's gonna come out here, but I'm kind of fine with that. Uh, do I taunt him? Yeah, I'm gonna go for a taunt on you, even though I think he's gonna fake me out. And I'm just gonna, I don't want to choice into a high horsepower. Do I want to choice to a high horsepower? Good. Super effective. Yeah, you know, let's do it. Let's get off some big damage on this Pokemon. I might die to max him. We'll see. Can come out here, and I have a weird feeling we're missing this uh this high horsepower. I just have a weird feeling. Connects, cool. We taunt, that's beautiful, and we get off a beautiful high horsepower. Got some nice damage on that thing. Moonblast gonna fire. Ooh, this thing's spicing up some damage. Can we eat that? Okay, Draco's ult eats. That's gorgeous. Draco's ult eats, and then this thing's just gonna parting shot onto Draco's ult. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Draco's ult's pretty much out for the battle. But yeah, we taunted that Whimscott, and of course it goes. In. Now we can Tailwind. We could take Speed Control, which I really like. And I wonder who he's going to go into. Anybody but Charizard, right? Gastron's going to come out. Okay, so Gastron comes out here. I'm cool with that. And then from here, we're just going to Tailwind. Take Speed Control, and... I guess we'll go after Gastron. Chip up a little bit of damage. But we do not have a Kyogre, which is good. Because Gastron... Gastron's okay. It's okay. It's kind of there for its ability. The Draco Zelt's going to not too... Be doing too too much due to that Whimscott. I can't believe that Whimscott went straight for a Moonblast. That was a great play. It's a beautiful play. So I was really expecting that thing to maybe like try to set up a Tailwind, do some along the, uh, his lines, maybe set up a, a taunt on his own, but it's fine. He's forced to go into another Moonblast, and we're just gonna take speed. We're gonna take lovely little speed. Gonna end up withdrawing Whimscott and showing his last Pokemon, unless he's going back into Incineroar. I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much. <laughs> so I was back into Incineroar. That's totally fine. I'm playing on my Draco's old dying anyway. Let's see what happens here. Tailwind poking out here. We're going to take a little bit of speed. A little bit of speed action. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. High horsepower comes in here and our hustle makes us miss. God dang it. This thing's going to yawn. 
Can you just take out my Draco Zolt, please? Take him out. Take him out. I'm here. Uh, I could go Incineries. I'm thinking of going to Incineries. Swapping you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's swap him into Incineries. And then just go into a uh, another high horsepower if we can. Do Incineroar. I mean, we're trying to land it. We might be able to KO. Actually, I don't know. We're going to be kind of close. We're minus three. We are <laughs> minus three on physical attack. But Choice Band Hustle is going to be doing us some work. I'm going to swap our Whimsy. I wonder what he's doing with Gastro. Can somebody just take out my Jerko Soul already? When I'm going. I heard power comes through. He missed again, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Cinderace dodges that. Snarl's going to take out my uh, Jerko Soul. Dude, come on. Come on. Missing my high horsepowers left and right, and this thing's gonna yawn again. Hate this game. Hate this game so much. Cinderace is getting drowsy. You know, we're Dynamax's Calyrex. We're Dynamax's Calyrex. We're getting rid of this Gashon. We're getting rid of this Gashon. I might keep Cinderace in here just so we can outspeed and absolutely dump on this uh, Incineroar. I'm kind of leaning towards it. The Incineroar is such a pain, and I really do not want to get parting shot on. I could go for a high jump kick. Yeah, we're going for a high jump kick. And I'm just going to drop a C-bomb. Because C-bomb... C-bomb can dump on this thing. There's no need to Dynamax just yet. I don't want to waste a Dynamax turn. So I think C-bomb can just take this out, thing out regardless. I'm with it all day. So he withdraws... This guy. This guy. We could have we, we withdrawn our Sinneries. He's going to go back into Whimscott. Son of a biscuit. High jump kick comes in here. We're switching to fighting. Please do not miss. We've been, we've been missing way too many moves already. Thank you. Thank you. Big damage right there. We're gonna we're about to go to sleep, but still, we should be able to take out Gastron, no problem here, and get rolling. The C bomb poking. Uh send it. Bilp a bilp. Later. Cool. We get rid of you. Now I'm gonna just straight up Dynamax Calyrex. And this guy's gonna bring back out in Cinewar. Ah! That's fine. We did get the chilling nade boost, so now we're back to normal. Now we're chilling back to normal. Cinerace drops down. He's he's slumped. Oh my lord, dude. This battle is driving me crazy. This battle's driving me crazy. It's that dang, it's not even the battle. It's that dang Incineroar that I keep seeing. Oh, and he doesn't bring it out. We do have a Babiri Berry, which is wonderful. Just gorgeous. Babiri Berry definitely helps me out here. I'll go for a Pyro Ball. And uh, what do I go here? Quake? Might as well go for the Quake. We have Dynamax this thing. I'm gonna do it. My boy should be able to eat it. Like, oh, dude, I swear, yo. If we go down... I feel like we are going to go down here. If this thing can one-shot me through the Babiri Berry, I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to be very upset because I'm banking on this Babiri Berry. It's a steel shot, right? We don't have speed right now unless he tailwinds, but he probably is going to tailwind. Let's see how this one plays out. But I just, have a, I just have a weird feeling that this Behemoth Blade is going to kill my Caldrex through Dynamax and the Babiri Berry. I have an odd feeling. Real odd feeling. And I'm surprised he didn't swap it to his Incineroar. Well, let's see how this one plays out. We're Dynamaxing this guy right here, because, you know, we have to. Our, our Cinderace is slumped. I would have chose my uh, Cinderace, but obviously we cannot. If I would have swapped it. It would have been a gorgeous turn. It would have been a gorgeous turn, because then we would have had Whimscott out here, and Cinderace would have uh, dipped the on, and Gashon would have been dead. But if we, you know, the only threat right now is going to be this uh, Zassian. If we get rid of Zassian, we can drive here. Cinderace is slumped. Whimscott is not going for a move. Quake's going to fly out here before anything. Get it. Take this thing out. Get him out of here. Please. Probably not, right? Oh, Calyrex, I love you. Calyrex, I love you. That's GG's. That is GG's. I'm so surprised he didn't, uh, Tailwind. I'm really surprised at that. Did he think he was still taunting? I don't know. Maybe he thought he was still taunting. But I'm super surprised he did not go into a Tailwind. Because if he would have Tailwind, he could have went for a Behemoth Blade. He could have went for a Behemoth Blade. But nah, yo, we take those all day. He's going to deal some damage on the us. And Tailwind is now going to peter out. Okay. We should be fine here, right? We should be fine. He's probably going to Dynamax Incineroar, but I'm going to double down into it. I don't think Incineroar can take me out. Not think Incineroar. That's who I'm going to target down, because that's really the only Pokemon that poses a little bit of a threat. Like, Whimscott? Nah, my Whimscott can 1v1 that Whimscott. <laughs> we're fine with that. But we're going to get after this Incineroar. We're going to say bye-bye to this boy. Double down into him. We're going to drop another Quake, and hopefully just cancel the battle and start off 2-0. See, cancel battle. He does cancel battle. Let's go. 2-0. and oh. Let's hop into our third. Look for a perfect record. Let's do it again, ladies and gentlemen. Going up against the exact same team we just went up against battle number two. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? I think Wimscott is definitely a good lead again. 
Whimscott, we're going to lead. We are also going to bring... I want to go for Draco's ult again. I love the Draco's ult. I want to show him off. So I'm going to go Draco's ult. I'm going to go Whimscott, and we're going to get rocking out from there. Bang, bang. We're going to bring Calyrex. We're not even going to bring Kyogre. We're not even going to bring Kyogre because he has that, uh, that what's it called? He has a Storm Drake Astra. I'm just not dealing with it. I'm just not dealing with it. So we're just going to lock in this, these guys, look for a win in battle number three, and grab ourselves a perfect record. First battle was so easy. The first battle was so easy. Second battle was, uh, once we got rolling, it was pretty strong. I'm surprised he didn't uh, Dynamax, but I feel like we put him in a position where he wanted to Dynamax, and then we KO'd a Pokemon, and then he was just like, dude, I, it's not even worth me Dynamaxing when lose the battle. And then, so he just canceled the battle. But still, we take those wins all day. We take those wins all day. But I wonder who this guy's going to lead. I kind of want him to lead anybody but in Sonora. But he's probably going to lead in Sonora. It's just such a good lead. Especially up against this team, because we have a few physical attackers ready to roll out. So let's see. If he does, I'm going to choice into that uh, high horsepower again, try to get off some big damage. And roll off from there. Or I might just Dynamax. I could Dynamax. But that is an option. But we'll see who he plays first. He's going to throw out... Cool. Groudon and Grimstrong. So from here, you know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to roll out with a Dynamax. With the Draco's old Dynamax. Yeah, all day, right? All day, right? Into a worm one? It'd be beautiful. It'd be beautiful. Could be lovely. Could be lovely. Yeah. So you know what? I'm just going to Tailwind. I'm just going to go into here, Dynamax. I'm going to go into Wormwind. Hit up on this boy. Drop his uh, physical attack as well. So get my hustle boy out here. Get my hustle boy out here to do some work. I love me some Draco's ult. Hopefully we get some kills with this guy. But I don't know. If we do not kill this ground arm right here. Look, it's scary because he has ground moves and fairy moves. Ready to roll up against my boy. The two moves that my Draco's ult does not like is fairy moves and ground moves. And that's what he's rocking out with both of them. Not about it. I'm not about it. But let's see. We toss a giant Pokeball. We say, hey, yo, Draco's ult. Let's do this thing. Let's get it. Let's get it, boy. But yeah, these are definitely like the weirdest fossil Pokemon in all of Pokemon. I don't even know why they made these guys fossil Pokemon. But they're really good competitively. But design-wise, nah. Nah, they're not. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing Groudon, if I had to guess, right? A little bit of Groudon action. I'm kind of cool with that, because if he takes out Draco's over here, we're still going to make a minus one. Beautiful. So, Groudon's going to come out here. We're going to drop a nice, lovely little worm win. And if I had to guess, I feel like this, this Grimstarl is going to be setting up some struggles. Right? He's a screeny Grimstarl. He's giving me screeny vibes. Let's see. Tailwind poking. Yeah. Send it. Give my team the speed. Give my team the speed. And yeah, what I say? This guy's giving me screeny vibes. He's definitely a screen right here. Sets up a, ref a reflect. We're going to outspeed him. He's going to be able to soak this up pretty well here. But we are going to make a minus one, which is great. Wow. Pretty well. Really well. Extraordinary well. Extremely well he soaked that up. God dang. God dang. He's going to go for the quake. So eat this up, dude. Give me one more turn out of you. I would love you forever. Give me one more turn out of you. I love you. I love you. Good old Drake all eats up, and he's going to set up another screen. And then from here, I might just double down the ground on. He's going to boost his special defense. Uh, we have a bunch of physical attackers in the back end, so I don't mind that. I do not mind that. From here, I'm just going to double down into Scrimson. I'll try to get rid of him. I go for, uh, what do I go for? I could go for special defense boost, or I could just go for my stab. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to go for stab because I'm going to get off as much damage as possible as I can. He's going to go for Thunder Wave. That's fine. Most of our moves are prankster anyway. He Thunder Waves me. I could have taunted him first. That could have been a good play. But Lightning's in a fire. We should be able to take out Grimstar on no problem here. Chip off some damage here. Oh, that's beautiful. We just take him out one shot. We get rid of him. Oh, it's a crit. That's why. We love those crits. We love those crits. We get rid of Grimstar. My Moonblast can slide over onto the uh onto the Groudon and just do a little bit of damage. Better than nothing, you know? Better than nothing. So Drickazel picks up a big time KO. Moonblast's gonna fly here. And Groudon should take me out. Get special attack job even though he's physical and he goes for another quake again i'm cool with that oh yo calyrex could do some work in the tailwind up against a groudon dig it i do indeed dig it and then we can just save cinderace for the back end it's looking mighty fine by me looking mighty fine by me yeah calyrex can come out here we have the tailwind out and about i'm gonna drop a glacial lance do some big damage onto the Groudon, but Groudon should be able to eat it up, and then he's definitely going to pose a weird threat to me, where he has he could potentially take me out, right? But again, if I can just take take out one more Pokemon, I think my Cinderace could do a lot of work. My boy comes out here. Is he going to bring out Zassian? That could be scary, too. No, Zassian comes out. Alright. Glacial Lance, 100% pop. 
hundo percent though. Gotta be rolling with that. Gotta be rolling with that. We do have the Babiri Berry, which might make us be able to eat up a steel shot. But it's definitely gonna be cutting close. Uh, I'm gonna help a hand the shot. Trying to make it do as much damage as we possibly can, you know? That's exactly what we're gonna do. Helping hand should come out here. Clap, 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 clap. Cool. And then Cadillac should go next, right? Glacial Lance gonna fly. Yo, is that a crit on the ground on? Yeah, yeah, my dude, Calyrex coming up with a lucky crit, yo, we love it, we take those, we hate when it happens to us, but we take them when we get those, I'd be so mad if I was him, but yo, I'm not him, so we're gonna point and laugh at him, Behemoth Blade comes out here, and Babiri Berry might help us soak up the shot, if it does, that's a huge turn, that's a lovely turn, let's see, let's see how this one plays, we, we, eat, oh, yes sir, yes sir, we eat up all day, Beery Berry helping us out, helping a friend out, and I think we have one more turn left in Tailwind. I think we have one more turn left in Tailwind, which is great because we can high horsepower into that. Uh, we can high horsepower into the what's it called? Into the. Uh, into this, this uh, blah, 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 this Zassy. right? Hopefully he's not protecting. Oh, it's a gash on. It's gash on. Unless he's double protecting. Oh, cool. I'm winning all day. We high horsepower. Get him out of here. That's GG's. That's GG's. I thought he was protecting Zassy and I was going to get a little upset. Because I, I never read the Zassy and protect. Even though I always say it's going to happen. But gash on protects. Gives us a free shot onto the uh, Calyrex. Or not Calyrex. Onto the Zassy. My Calyrex defeats it. That's GG's, yo. Perfect record for you guys. Easy perfect. Easy perfect record. We steamrolled opponents today. We steamrolled opponents today, but we're just going to tailwind just so we can make sure that we have speed. And then we're just going to go into, obviously, a C-bomb and say GG. And say GG. Four times super effective. We're plus two. Get this thing out of my game. Get him out of here. Seed bomb dropping. Seed bomb is dropping. Gone. Light work today. All these matches were easy for us. Easy, easy, easy. 3-0. Another perfect record for you guys. That might have been the easiest perfect record I have ever had. First battle was just super simple. We brought in Kyogre. We brought in Wimscott. Helping Hand, Water Spout, Choice Specs. Everybody's dead. We win the battle. Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> Second battle, we dominate. Third battle, we dominate. And we just legit pull off a perfect record. It's pretty simple and pretty easily. But there it is, guys. Love this team so much. We got to show up to Draco Soda a little bit. Calyrex was definitely clutching up. Kai Ogre was doing some work. Only in battle number one because we only brought him in battle number one. And then Cinderace was just a great back end Pokemon for all different situations. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.